Hello everyone and welcome back to Apollo Justice Ace Attorney, where we finally have our first hopefully paying client, or at least they have the means to pay. Uh, so her fiance is part of the crime boss's family, only son in fact, and he's been arrested for murder and we are hopefully being paid to defend him. All right, so we got a we got a letter of request. So I think that's going to let us get into the park because we are now attorneys on the case officially. So I think that's where I'm going to go. Is there anything that I'd like to present to her? Uh, first, I'm a lawyer. Hi. Attorney's badge. So you really are a defense attorney. Please, I'm counting on you. I need your help. Okay. How about do you know anything about this? I understand. I'm sorry. No, no, it's me. Sorry, really. Sorry. About this place. You know anything about this place? Okay. No, that's that's fair. This phone? Is it maybe yours? Nope. Do you know anything about these panties? <laughs> nope. Nothing. Uh, present I guess this. I hope that's okay. I've never written a letter of request before. No, this is exactly what I need. Oh, it's fine. I sh should hope it's your first, right? If we take this, we'll be able to investigate the scene. Yes! See, I was right. Ugh, I like being right. Uh, we need to go- Oh, we can go to the detention center first. Uh... I think I want to go here... Instead- Aha! Yeah, see? I was right. So this is it. My first murder crime scene. Well... Oh yeah, I guess crime scene. We... Oh, it's you kids again. Look, can't you find some other place to play? We're not playing. We're, um, investigating. Aren't we, Apollo? Sir, I have a letter of request here. Um... Uh, why does it say hit request on it? Oh, uh... Guys, funny story. I didn't actually look and read this, uh, beforehand. You should just ignore this. Actually, I'm gonna go that way. Bye. There's a wall there. Uh, that way. Bye. <laughs> Tiala must have used the Kataki stationery. <laughs> Excuse me, coming through. Wait. Wait. No, it's you, Mr. Gavin. Who's this guy? It's Gavin. I must say, I'm used to being inspected by the ladies. But this is the first time I felt this way with a man. Uh... I don't know what you've heard, but, but I feel like there's a misunderstanding here. <laughs> Mr. Gavin? I mean, that wasn't that long ago. Oh, Fraulein, what's a sweet morsel like you doing in such a dismal place? Can I help? Uh, uh, yes, the policeman officer fellow here won't let us in. We even have a letter of request. You must be exhausted standing out here. I will take you to the scene of the crime. What? What? Does he have like a twin? Oh, uh, really? By your leave, officer. Uh, yeah, uh, yes, sir. Of course, sir. Uh, very well. This way, for our line. We. <laughs> what? I had a spinning already. Just... Hey, what about me? Uh, lawyer here. Park. On that note, enjoy your investigation. Thank you. Will we see you again? That's the win for a line. I'll be riding on it. Why is he German? Who was that? Eek! Apollo, look, a, a corpse. What? It's just a mannequin. Wow, it sure got me. And I ask what exactly you're, it is you're doing here. Oh, I don't. I should have gone with it. Oh, it's you. How did I know you kids would get in here? Oh, this guy. Well, he was really more like a prince, really. Um. Him again? Merce Fop always getting in my way. Anyway, the scene is off limits. Excuse me. We have a letter of request. One moment. Why is she holding that big magnifying glass? 
Why is she so unpleasant? She was so nice in the first game. What did they do? What did they do? What happened to you? Wait, why do you re why recognize that handwriting anywhere? Scientific analysis says it was written by Alita Tiala. Thanks. It took you 30. Oh, we've been standing here for 30 minutes. All right, I'm going to I'm going to simulate what it was like to stand here for 30 minutes. So, this is actually minute 35 of the video. So, what's up with the mannequin there? Taking the place of the body, preserving the scene of the crime as it was found. Body was pulling the stand? <gasps> we found the stand! Ha! We're done! Mission closed. Oh wait, except the murder thing. Never mind. So you're a defense attorney, are you? Detective Emma Sky, I'm in charge of this crime scene. She doesn't seem that happy about it. Doesn't seem that happy about many things. I'm so sad. She was like a plucky youngster in the last game. I guess it's been. Does it say how old she is in this? She was pretty young in the last one. 25. So uh, it's been like, what, 10 years? So she was like 15? Obsessed with friends, excited. Hey, science. Mood touchy. Yeah. Yeah, that's definitely accurate. Trust you know how to stay out of the way. I always carry two pairs of handcuffs, just in case. Uh, good to be prepared. <laughs> gonna let that one go. <laughs> just gonna let that one go. Uh, tell us about the case. Um, Detective Sky. Quiet, please. It's snack time. Uh. Rude. You're not gonna- are you gonna share? Like, a little bit? Like, offer us some knowing that we won't take it sort of thing? Uh, very rude. You're not making much progress here. She must not be very busy. <sighs> I never seem to get a lucky break. Back after nine years and they won't give me the position I requested. Oh, is that why you're- very unpleasant to deal with. Okay. Then I hear he gave up the defense attorney life. Oh, she's sad about Phoenix not being a defense attorney anymore because he helped her. He, who's... Oh, come on. Ah, next defense attorney. Come on, Apollo. Um, Detective Sky. Quiet, please. It's snack time. Ugh. Without us. Here he gave up the defense attorney life. He who he. I believe someone had mentioned that I can't. In the court record, I can't present. Pro oh wait, no, I can't. Can I? I can't present profiles. Uh, let's go with the defendant and see what we got. Oh, yep. Yeah. I'm assuming we have to go through all that. Okay, let's see what I can present. Uh, like I said, I don't think I can do profiles. Okay, they did. Which I guess I kind of like for the sake of like simplifying things here. I'm a, I'm a lawyer. Um, if you could spare a minute to look at this. Can't you see that I'm extremely, extremely busy? Snacks, yes. Busy eating snacks, I'd say. Going nowhere fast. Uh, all right, we'll go. Go for the big guns. <laughs> I feel like if that didn't get a response, nothing will. I kind of like having that as like a nuclear option of, come on. The, just the fact that I'm pulling these out of a pocket has got to kind of get some kind of reaction, right? Ooh, wait, wait, wait. No, okay. Not. I had a hunch. Is there anything else that might... No, all right. This is definitely not all right. I I had to try it. 
There's only one item left. Nope, not that. Sorry. Sorry. I got I got tap happy. Yep. Okay. Well, um that accomplished nothing. I don't think we can really examine anything here. Hey there, no messing with the crime scene. We need to investigate. Investigations are to be carried out by professionals, scientifically. Not going to let us check out the crime scene, is she? Hey Apollo, my very unscientific analysis tells me something here is very suspicious. I think I know what you mean, it's kind of hard not to notice. I better check out what we came here to find at least. What? Oh wait, there we go. Look, the stand. Okay. I got I got tap happy. It sells Aldoon. I've noticed. Well, we solved the case of the missing stand at least. Well, the circumstances could stand to be better. Um I don't think maybe that. Yes, I got it. Need to investigate. Okay, yep. Yeah. Alright, I guess we should tell... Move. The Kentucky Mansion. Let's- Oh, wait, wait, wait. Oh, she's not here. We couldn't examine before. Alright. Where can we move to? Uh, Aldoon's house. Yes, we found it. Perfect. Oh, Mr. Aldoon. Hello. Looks like he left. We found a stand and everything. What about our free bowl? Oh, too bad. Looks like we'll have to wait a little longer for that bowl. So sorry. Ah, oh, what a bummer. Anything worth examining? Everything looks the same. There's a sign that I don't think we ever looked at before. I don't have high hopes. There's a handwritten sign here. Save the light. It's hard to make out the sign in the shade from the clinic next door. I'm starting to see why that's there. What about this? I don't think I... An oil drum for catching rainwater. Ugh, Sparrow just flew over and... Ah, oh, man. That was disgusting. <laughs> Something tells me this wasn't the first time. Must be his business sign. It reads new. <laughs> That's how the kids are spelling new these days. You know, I wouldn't put it past them. I'm gonna fail the temp at hipster marketing. No, it's supposed to say noodles, you dummy. I'm assuming part of it's missing. Or it is a failed attempt at hipster marketing. Who knows? Can you really tell these days? <laughs> I want that to be a video series. Uh, typo or hipster marketing? Uh, if, if that channel exists, please link it in the comments. I will binge it and you'll probably never see me again. Uh, oh boy. Go back to the right anything agency. Oh, you're here. Um, present. We've learned nothing. It's... I I know. Oh, you're just gonna be here. Alright, let's just, let's just go down the list. Oh, we haven't been to the detention center either. Let's just go down the list. So we can cross off the Kentucky Mansion, Aldoon's house. Let's go to the clinic. Ah, okay, cool. Shoot, now I have to go down that list again. Ah, you're back. We're running into some problems. Oh, Polly, didn't you want to tell Daddy something? Who, me? No, I'm fine. Really? What's this? So there is a problem. No, no problem. Actually, I got a def defense request. A defense request? That is a problem. <laughs> huh? I've given up the court. I'm not a lawyer anymore. Right. I've, I've, I have a badge. It says I'm a lawyer. Quest is for me. Oh, right. <laughs> You're a lawyer, aren't you? 
I'm, I'm, I can only assume that Apollo at this point is drunk, or not Apollo. I'm getting a mixed up already. That's not good. <laughs> I was about to say Phoenix is drunk all the time, but I think, I, th I think I may have sunk my own ship on that. <laughs> He's doing that on purpose. I know it. Okay, murder. So what about this defense request? It's related to the murder in People Park, actually. Guess what? We found Mr. Aldoon's noodle stand at the scene of the crime. Did you now? That's unusual indeed. Never heard of a noodle stand being used as a murder weapon. <laughs> that would be amazing. I want that to be the murder weapon. <laughs> Please let that be the murder weapon. <laughs> uh, I think the murder weapon was something else. You mean you don't know what the murder weapon was? No, we can't uh, get to the scene because of this insufferable girl who apparently you know. Can you help us out? That funny detective lady won't let us on the scene. What kind of detective wears a lab coat anyway? A lab coat? Hmm. Didn't think she'd be involved in this. You know! You know her? You could say that. Sky connection. So you know her, don't you? I met her on a case. This was about 10 years ago. She was still a high school student at the time. I make her about the same age as me. That's my daddy. He knows all the police types. Oh, wait. Maybe you know the other guy, too. Other guy. The shining prince on the motorcycle. Prince. Oh, yeah. Gavin. Right? Apollo, tell me about this prince of truces. Indulge a concerned father, right? I feel you. He was at the crime scene. He looked just like Mr. Gavin. Did he now? You know him. My guess is he's Christoph Gavin's younger- Oh, okay. His brother. We're acquaintances after a fashion. Believe you Gavin. Rock and roll god incarnate. What? I don't know what any of that means. Believe you, what a lovely name. He's so dreamy. I know Mr. Gavin had a brother. And what was he doing out there? I have a feeling he'll be crossing paths again soon. Now, what was the problem again? Having trouble investigating the crime scene in the park. Yeah, that detective woman won't let us. Go to the office. Under the silk top hat, you'll find a bottle of white powder. Try taking that to this detective. White powder? Well, uh, I hope it's not what I think it is. <laughs> yeah. Just take it to her. It'll be fine. You'll see. Oh, and tell her I said hi. Yeah, that's gonna be what gets us in. Oh, okay, okay. What was the wait? Oh, the wasn't the powder the thing we used to like find clues? Yeah, okay. Oh, um, our client's gone. That's not good. Do you have anything to say? Uh, I think you should focus on finding more information about the case. You seem to be having fun. Of course, this is my first criminal investigation. And it's so mysterious. A noodle stand pushing a dead man along. Uh, I think it was the other way around. The dead man was pulling the stand. You're right about it being mysterious. I knew it. More information. That's what we need. I'm gonna be so sad if she's not our assistant the whole game. Don't tell me, but I am gonna be quite sad. <laughs> this must be the silk top hat Mr. Wright mentioned. Take a closer look. Huh. Wow! You know what this is, Trucy? I remember finding some in Daddy's dresser when I was little. I thought it was sugar, so I licked it. He got mad at me. I'm getting more and more suspicious. <laughs> White powder placed gingerly into pocket. Retrieved from right anything agency. Let's go talk to that detective. She's sure to know what that white powder is. I don't know if we want to walk up to a cop and give them white powder. Okay, it's probably fine. Either that or we'll end up in jail. Either way, it's it's fine. It's This is all the wrong. I think that I can only move to some places from other places. Uh, Kataki Mansion. No, wait. It's, uh, oh, People Park. Yes. Look, remember yourself. Remember that you used to not be very unpleasant to deal with. Um, does this ring any bells? Huh, is that... It couldn't. Where did you get that? I brought it from the office. You work at the Brighton Co. Law Offices, yes? Uh, 
yeah, sort of. They, there's this thing where they don't pay me for any of my work, so if you could maybe investigate that. That seems kind of illegal. Um, get back to me on that. Detective Sky, how do you know my daddy? D daddy, I'm sorry. Who did you say you were? Juicy Wright, Phoenix Wright's daughter. But what? Mr. Wright has a daughter? He seems shocked. Uh, well, if you're Mr. Wright's daughter and you're his apprentice, I'm available to help you in any way I can. Oh, okay, good. She's not a horrible person anymore. Good. Oh, thanks. You can start by not calling me Mr. Wright's apprentice. Apollo, you might as well give that up right now. This powder is used for detecting fingerprints. Fingerprints? I guess you could call it a memento. From the time I spent with Mr. Wright. White powder <laughs> I want a screen cap button. I miss playing this on the Switch to be able to do that. Uh, Capcom, I, I know you're you're watching all of these intently. Bring this to the Switch. And all the other ones too. And bring the Edgeworth game, all that stuff. Just to the Switch. Because I, I know you're watching these. Clearly. If you find any evidence with fingerprints on it, please let me know. We'll test for prints. Well, she's quite the eager beaver all of a sudden. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Oh, 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 oh. How do I do, how do, I do uh, Can I do it? I'm gonna... What's it say? The label reads fingerprint powder in some strange language. How do we know for sure? What if this is really a jar for something else, like jam or honey? Why would, it, why would anyone go through the trouble? Well, so the police don't find out, that's why. How do you think possessing fingerprint powder is a crime? Oh, hi, I guess. That's boring. Mm, I don't think we're gonna get anything out of this. I think I think that's as good as it gets. How do I how do I use it? I wanna use it on things. I wanna use it on this cell phone. Alright, I'm sure I'm sure they'll explain it. I'm sorry, I'm getting ahead of myself. I just I see where it's going, and I want. I want things. The report came in last night. The body was found, much as you see it now. It says there's a real body. But why? There was a body pulling a noodle stand. If I knew the answer to that, I wouldn't still be here. Well, what was the cause of death? A bullet wound to the temple. He was shot by a pistol. A pistol? Not the easiest thing to come by in this day and age. Oh. Unless you're a cop. Or a gangster. Incidentally, the victim's name was Pal Maractus. Palmer Ra Palmer I don't know. I think it's supposed to be a joke on malpractice. Malpractice. I think I think that's the joke. Just received the autopsy report, in fact. See from Emma Sky. Oh, well, yeah, can I? Yeah, I'd like to. I mean, really, what's up with this case? It's enough to make me want to run off, pulling a mysterious noodle stand behind me. <laughs> it's an odd urge to have, but I get it. Not so mysterious, actually. We should tell her, Apollo. After all, we know where the stand came from. A likely story. I didn't come here to play games, you know. Actually, we do know where the noodle stand came from. The noodle stand's owner is uh, clearly Phoenix Wright. <laughs> I want to. Uh, I also want to move this along, and I'm sure you would all like to uh, see. Oh wait, hold on. I, I think the mic works. Take that. It does work. I figured out you don't act. I so someone had said that for this uh, case or for the trial coming up, I was gonna have to make sure the microphone worked. So I did. I I did that by like going back and playing through the first trial again, and I learned you can scream whatever you want. Oh, sorry. You can scream whatever you want at the game. It doesn't matter. Um, but who's who's gonna say something random when you can say take that or objection? Who's the old guy? Hmm. This is the proprietor of Eldoon's Noodles, Mr. Eldoon himself. He's famous in this part of town. Not bad, I guess Mr. Wright picked the right kids for this job. Uh, I'm, I'm not a kid. 
That saved me a lot of work, thanks. Noodle stand added to the court record. What sort of person was the victim anyway? I mean, what did he do? He was a doctor. Doctor? I'm starting to see a connection here. Who? Me. I'm just a supervisor for this crime scene. Check the sky. Hmm. I was out of the country for a while. I came back to be a forensic scientist. Oh, are you studying abroad? Something like that? I was studying in Europe. Forensic sciences, mind you. Wait. Now I feel like there's- I feel like you weren't studying forensic sciences. You were studying something else. But when I got back here, they threw me in criminal affairs. Just like that. Why didn't you just become a forensic expert in Europe? Well, I suppose that was an option, but I had a lot of favors to repay to people back here. Favors? Wasn't she in high school when she left? What? What's that look for? I was involved in an incident before I left. But Mr. Wright and his people helped me out. I owe them. Really? I had no idea. He's been out of the country for a while. She probably doesn't know about Mr. Wright's current uh, state of affairs. No, it seemed like she did, or at least that he wasn't practicing law anymore. Um, could you tell us a bit about the defendant? He's the only son of the Kitaki family, yes? Oh, Waki Kitaki. I don't know if he is the boss's son, but he's certainly throwing his weight around. Violently, in the detention center. I see. Why was he arrested in the first place? You are a defense attorney, aren't you? You're not his by any chance. Uh, actually, yes, I am. Well, we have a witness at the moment of the crime. Eh. When it's called the police, they'll be testifying during the trial tomorrow. Why? Um, okay, tell me about the victim. Could you tell us more about the victim? Let's see, apparently he's the physician at a clinic in the area. Quite well off, too, from the sound of it. The clinic's name is the Maractus Clinic. Maybe that's why the car, cop car was parked there. What? You've been to the clinic? Yeah, though on a related issue. I told the detective about the case of the stolen noodle stand. I see, so that means... Dr. Maractus stole the stand and pulled it all the way here. Seem to be the case. Why? Don't ask me. This guy's a weirdo. Uh, present. All right, we can probably present things now. Uh, we're running long. That's all right. We can we can run a little bit longer. Oop, I keep doing that. Ah, an attorney's badge. It reminds me of when Mr. Wright was still defending. Everything I have now is thanks to him. Remember, help as many people as you can. That's your job. She's right, Polly. Let's make a difference. Is something wrong? Uh, no, nothing. I, I actually felt inspired for a moment there. But good. Sorry, I don't think I can help you with that. I think you need more than just scientific help. But ask me anything you'd like. Uh, just ask scientifically. Alright, good. I'm glad that she's kind of like back to her, herself. Uh, nothing there. Tell me about this phone. Come on. You gotta know. Oh, really? I thought for sure she's gonna know. Come on. Mm. Well, we already presented this, but... Your print analysis is the very basics basis of modern forensic science. And just talking about it will leave you breathless for excitement. A little bit, actually. Oh, yes. Back breathless. Actually, it does sound kind of interesting. <laughs> That'd be, that'd be exactly my thought process. Let me know if you find any evidence that you might have a print or two. Or I've tried presenting everything. Here, take take these. These should have fingerprints on them. Mm. Why did Mr. Maractus die like this? Playing a noodle stand, very strange. Inconceivable, I just don't get it. Some people just... Can't die nor can't can't you please die normally? He's dead. Give him a break. All right. So what does this actually say? Uh, time of death: June fourteenth after ten p.m. Cause of death: single bullet to the right temple. Okay. All right. We got some good information here. Still weird. Uh, I'm glad that. Uh 
Mood. Oh, it still says mood touchy. All right, whatever. I'm, anyway, I'm glad Emma's like kind of back to normal and, and she'll deal with us. Like, like I would have expected. I was like, oh, I remember her from the first game and then she was mean to us and it was less fun. Uh, anyway, that's going to do it for me. As always, thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you next time.